Oh, Carol, don't worry, man, it's not Sophie. So, sorry, just to, just to break with traditions, I'm going to speak to. Um, I'm just going to read from the paper. I'm not as good as Sean. It's not <laughs> right. So, clearly, I never thought it actually through when I said I was making a speech. I was absolutely insisted on being a top feminist. I'm not going with this tradition. No one is shutting me up at this wedding. I'll speak. <laughs> So when I actually had to sit down and do it, my head fell off. I was like, what on earth am I going to do? So I did the same as Sean and just went to Google. What, what's the ideas? Um, so really, man, it's just very quick thank yous. Um, I just want to start by thanking everyone for coming. It means so much to myself and Sean that everyone's made the effort to come. We spent so long planning and organising this day. It feels crazy <laughs> that it's finally here. We've swapped dates, swapped venues, thought it wouldn't happen, made changes for what would be a COVID wedding, and now we've got it normal anyway. Um, I've cried and stressed and screamed at Sean and Hannah multiple times in the last two weeks. So it's amazing for it to be here. Feel calm. I'm shaking a little bit right now, but calm generally and have everyone in the same room. I just want to do some dead quick thank yous to my beautiful daughter. Where is she? Oh, she's filming me. Hello, <laughs> Han. <laughs> Hannah, Elsie, what on earth in the world would I do without you kids? I have never known a love or a bond like we have. You're sassy, confident, funny, and an absolute hippie chick dream. Uh, and no one other than us will ever know our special bond. I've been an emotional wreck these last few weeks, and you know every time how to make me laugh and pull me back, don't you? <laughs> Hannah Riley, I love you the world. <laughs> Thank you to my mum and dad. Don't cry, don't worry, it's not Sophie for being so generous towards our wedding, everything that you've done in the run-up, even running around today, getting things, dropping things off. There are no words to thank you for everything that you've done, not just today, but for everything. Oh, to my wonderful maid of honor and best friend in the entire world, my sister, Art Evelyn, at the back. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for keeping me sane, putting me on a shopping ban so that I actually saved up to pay for today. <laughs> been organising both hens, helping me plan and just being my general life organiser. Um, to thank my gorgeous new family for welcoming me and our Hannah Spanner into their lives. My father-in-law now, Peter Riley, um, Lee and Lynette, and a special mention to our Nikki Nikki <laughs> um, for absolutely enveloping me and Hannah into your family from day one. You adopted us in and we were family. What amazing friends and sisters we've become. It must be our mutual <laughs> annoyance of Sean and all of a Prosecco and dancing around the kitchen that drives us together. My special friends, my lollipops, my niece, I love you so much, princess. And I love our special bonds and how much me and you love a party. <laughs> um, thank you to my other flower girls, Amelia. Is she, is she here somewhere? Meals and Ava. You both look beautiful and I'm so happy that you were a part of our special day. The bridesmaids, my partner, our Jennifer, and my best friends, Becky and Robin. <laughs> I have no words for how incredibly grateful I am to our friends like you. We have been through absolutely everything together, good or bad, happy or sad, dancing like weirdos together, getting, an <laughs> getting bladdered together, being an absolute show together all the time, and I wouldn't have it any other way. You all look amazing, and I love you all millions. So now I've spoken about everyone else, I should probably mention my husband, my Riz. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any way to describe our relationship, and except maybe that we are the absolute king and queen of long distance relationships. <laughs> You're my best mate in the entire world. I always, say to, I always said to Sean there was something, something about him from the very start that kept pulling me back, must have been pulling me back to Germany. Um, but just to talk about very quickly about two times when I've thought <laughs> he's the one. So one, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it short, like <laughs> two times. <laughs> so there's one time we w when we were in Germany and we'd gone on a night out in Hanover. We was having pints, we was on the Jaeger train, and we all had a ball. And the next thing, me and Sean were sitting in Burger King with a plastic pint of lager at six o'clock in the morning, chatting absolute shit. Sorry, but we was. And then we were suddenly like, oh, I'm going to go back to the hotel room. <laughs> we went back to the hotel room and then not long after that, we had to get up and get back, get back to camp. Um, 
I don't really get hangovers, but this morning I woke up and the room was spinning. I was like, oh my ways, what is going on here? And I thought, Jesus, show me, get up, come on. He went, just get in the shower, get in the shower, you'll be all right. I got in the shower, got out of the shower, and there's Sean walking through the door with a cup of tea, and I thought, oh, yes, this, you are the one. <laughs> um, and nice one to as well for driving us back that day, and we just slept in the back of your car. <laughs> um, another time was when I give myself food poisoning and it's, uh, it's ridiculous because it's literally not the first time that I've done that I'm not, not the best cook but I woke up middle of the night feeling like oh god something's not quite right here and I turned into the, the woman of a little Britain with the vomit like so from my bed I sorry vomited everywhere from the bed round down, down the hall and into, into the bathroom and because I was trying to run I fell and slipped <laughs> skidded right through the sick and crashed into the bath and Sean said he was lying in bed and he just said oh and he thought oh I can't fucking leave it I'm gonna have to get up so we got up and once again went Meg just get in the shower and I'll sort this out and I thought yes the one but Aside from the silly, silly stories, he really is my best friend. My twin flame, my confidence, and my forever. Whew. Nobody knows me like you or gets me like you. Nobody else pick me up when I'm down, pushes me when I need it, and shockingly for Sean, every now and again, will give me some sympathy. <laughs> I have nothing but a admiration for you, Sean. I see, I see every day the pain you feel, but you channel, it, you channel everything into being the best version of yourself. I love your determination, your push, and the effort and the lens you'll go for anyone who needs it. I love you, Riz. I love your ginger hair. I love the ginger hair. I love your smile. I love your smile and I love the scar above your eyebrow. I love that you take me from annoyed to smiling with this. And that I know, just no matter what, you've got me and you're always going to look after me. Ava's had enough. Too much, too much speeches. She didn't want the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> We're the best team I've ever known. We work our asses off for everything we have and that we get. We make the best of everything that comes along and whatever comes our way, there's nobody else in this world I'll, I'd rather go through this life with. And very quickly, I just want to mention a couple of people who aren't here today. So my grandmas, I have three. So my grandma Dot, most glamorous and most ridiculously artistic lady ever. There's never been a face painter who's ever come close to making those kids look as good as we used to look on Halloween. Uh, my grandma, Irish grandma, who wasn't actually Irish, she's scouse. <laughs> um, who was an absolute force to be reckoned with. Strong confidence, took no shit and taught us all the same. <laughs> then Nana, or Big Nana, to our Hannah, my special friend and the absolute definition of a nan. The best listener and most courageous lady. And of course the granddads, Irish, both Irish and scouse, for teaching me how to start a sing song at a party, have a good time and drink because I'm exceptionally good at that. Oh, I got through that quite easily. <laughs> I've, I've actually written, I won't talk about them anymore because I get upset, but I didn't. Um, and I'm just going to stand with Sean now because we're going to raise a toast to a special lady who I didn't get the pleasure to meet. But she's 100% been there with me and guided me in this relationship with Sean. <sighs> From what I hear, we'd have got on like a house on fire because we both like a lager and apparently we're both terrifying when we're in shouting mum mode. <laughs> so can you please all raise a, gla raise a glass? To my mother-in-law, May. May. Thank you.